I fell in love with the mountains when I was young and, and met my first packer when I was 18. And uh, it just fit between the horses and the mountains. It was just a natural fit for me. And kind of said, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I've been doing it pretty much ever since. 30 years now. This country is pretty special. Yeah, the Eagle Cap's the biggest wilderness area in the state of Oregon. Well, it's got a little over 360,000 acres. Come on, girls. Yep, yep. When I started packing, I worked for outfitters all over the West here. And I've never seen the diversity in a wilderness area that I see here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's places out here people have never set foot. And there's a whole bunch of country I haven't seen. Come on, mules. We can cater to anybody from the non-rider who's never rode before to people who've rode quite a bit. Yeah, we're kind of a small outfit. It's just me and my daughter who pretty much run the thing. Come here, bub. And she helps me pack and helps me with the full service trip. Right now we're trying to get these two to match in weight. Not get too heavy and not get too bulky, so. They can carry 120 pounds, no problem. They can carry more, but we try to keep it at that because they're working every day. What I want to do is rock it, make sure it's rocking center and it's rocking nice. So. It's kind of unlimited in what we do. getting gear that people can't carry up the trail where they needed to go. I think we did five mule loads for a family. Two people rode and five or six of them walked in. We can drop you off, leave you there for a week, come back and get you, or we can drop you off and you can walk out. Or you can walk in if you don't want to ride and we can drop your gear and meet you in there. I do quite a few of those actually. Backpackers will kind of hike in here and it takes all their energy just to get here. So they get walked in, set up, and then all they want to do is sit down and rest. Well, we bring you in, you're ready to go explore where you just work to get to. So it's it's a way better deal than hiking, as far as I'm concerned. I've, I've never been much of a walker. I'd rather ride if I can. So. You don't have to watch where you put your feet, so you can look around and you notice a lot more. Plus, you're about three feet up off the ground, higher, so four feet, five, six, depending on who you're riding. Yeah. So you get a hell of a better view. We've got a lot of people who've never been in the mountains, so they're a little nervous about it. Older backpackers that have been backpacking for years, but they're tired of carrying all that extra weight. So we pack it up for them. We start with the bottom. A lot of guys want to come in here and hunt, but they don't have the equipment or the stock to do it. So that's where we come in. It's got to be fairly tight because everything always loosens up on you. So nothing better than a tight rope. It's more of a traditional deal. They've been doing it for I don't know how long. Way back in the mountain man days, everything's got a balance. We want to rock it. Make sure it's gonna ride. Your loads have to match. Not fair to have one side hanging down on him as he's walking. You roll a load on some of these trails, it's adios, they're gone. It can get ugly, you don't want bad loads. It's an old art, I guess. Come on, down the trail. When you're riding, you're constantly listening and you're checking them about every five or six minutes. You want to make sure everything's riding right. As soon as something starts to shift on you, you better get off and fix it. We try to rotate them around a little bit so we don't overwork them. Our stock's got to last all season and be fresh and workable in November, as fresh as it is in June. If you were working that hard every day, you'd want to lighten your load of tick too. In, they're my friends. I don't want to rub holes in them and all that good stuff, so. Usually we've got so many miles to cover, even stopping to tie up for a few minutes is kind of out of the question. 
we're pushing to get out by dark. I hate riding in the dark if I can help it. And it's always, always a go, go, go. If something goes wrong, you're the only one that's gonna get it, get it right. You can only count on yourself. Come on, move. The guy gets to know himself pretty well. You're sitting that long thinking about things, you know? And it's amazing how fast the days go. But, you know, you look around here, and who's got an office view like this? It's amazing. Because your scenery's changing every day. Every few minutes, everything's just rolling by, so you never know what you're going to see around the next bend. Wilderness is open to everybody, and if you physically can't get in, there needs to be a service to get you in. So that's why we actually operate. We gotta respect the, the rules in the, in the country, and, and hopefully we make it a little better when we leave than when we came in. And when you're doing it, you're, you get sore and tired. It's kind of a weird deal, it gets in your blood, and. As soon as you get rested up, you're ready to go back. Odd thing. And when it's all done, hopefully you got some stories to tell. Come on, mules.